I just wish she could have known me as an adult. But all she got were the shitty years. The last one she'll remember me being a teenager, awkward and selfish. I wish just once we could have said I love you. But the really awful thing is that I don't think I would be here where I am today or who I am today if she hadn't died. That's kind of fucked up, that mum, isn't it? You see, I had this, uh, this stepfather who liked to control everyone. I think it came from him being small, little man syndrome. That and the fact that he was seven years younger than mum and she was very beautiful made him very insecure and he needed to feel in charge. Oh, he wasn't a violent man, but he liked to have his rules and woe betide you if you broke them. One of my rules was that I had to be in the house by nine o'clock at night. Even as a 16-year-old, and I felt like a child, and I resented that so much. If I was late by a minute, I'd be grounded for the week. So life was a constant battle, a fear of being home late, wanting to be out with my friends, resentment and sulking and being punished, this vicious, vicious circle. You weren't allowed to debate or discuss. There was no arguing, no reasoning, no conversation. Just do as you are told. God, I couldn't wait till I was old enough to leave home. All I ever dreamed of was having my own place. To get away from the suffocation of my personality. Freedom. And in the middle of this was poor old trying to see both sides but obviously having to support him and, and I, I was the stroppy teenager and the thing is he made her really happy and they were obviously very much in love and for that I will always be grateful to him and despite it all he was the only father I ever really had there were times when I was younger that he talked about adopting me and there were times when I was older and I wish he had. <laughs> but my real father would never have allowed that. Not because he loved me so much. But he would never have given my stepfather the satisfaction of possessing someone. Someone else he felt belonged to him. So when mum died at 43, I suddenly became matriarch, housekeeper, Paying the bills, running the home, looking after three brothers and a stepdad, albeit all older than me. But I was the one keeping it all together. And all of a sudden the rules didn't matter anymore. No more nine o'clock curfews. I could come and go as I please. He didn't care. There was no desire to stamp his authority anymore. And I loved it. Downtown with my mates. Three lager and limes, last bus home, all for a pound in them days. <laughs> Pure magic. Freedom. The big man shrank before my eyes. He couldn't manage on his own. He'd lost his empire. And for a while I did feel sorry for him. He couldn't sleep in the bedroom they shared and she died in anymore for weeks after. He'd bring his blankets and put them down at the side of my bed on the floor and ask if he could sleep there. Nothing funny. Just hold my hand. He was sad and lost and lonely. Weren't we all? Mum knew we would be. She knew he'd never go up on his own. She told him this and she told him when she was dying that he must find someone else. And he did, six months later. A younger woman, and he moved her into our house. They helped me find a place of my own. They helped me move down into a crummy little council house. That was kind of them, wasn't it? Because I was 16 and no blood relation and therefore nobody's responsibility anymore. I'd just left college and I had a part-time job. My wages hardly covered my rent. The house was freezing and 
often there was little to eat. But I had what I always wanted. Independence. No more rules, but the chance to make my own rules and do and be whatever I wanted to be. Which led me where I am today. But I wish she could have known me as an adult. I wish she could have known the person I've become and see what I've achieved. And I wish just once we could have said I love you.